Lil Uzi's Eternal Attack finally dropped this weekend on Friday, just randomly out of nowhere. And everyone was going crazy, but today I have my top five uh, from the new album, and I'm very excited uh, to share what I've been listening to on the whole album. If I'm gonna be honest, pretty much every song is really, really good. And I enjoy listening uh, to songs one through eight. Like when he said it was gonna be 16 songs, Foot Will Shuffle and That Way, that already came uh, came out, or, you know, bonus tracks or whatever. Which is super cool, because we got 16 uh, new songs. I feel like it would've been cool to see some features, but that's what's supposed to be on the deluxe or whatever, which is supposed to be eight songs, I'm pretty sure. Not 100% about that yet. Um, it's actually really funny, because I was uh, making a video on whether the album was gonna come out. Um, maybe some things on the, the trailer that uh, that came out earlier in the week as well. And then I just scrapped the video since the album dropped the next day when I was gonna make the video. Yeah, bro, let's get right into it, bro. Lil Uzi, new album, number five. I got that way. Super uh, catchy, any sample the Backstreet Boys on this one. And this was uh, one of the singles that just randomly dropped on a Sunday morning the same week. Even though that's a, that's a song that, you know, all the white girls will be singing, but you know, whatever. It's fine, it's fire. And then up next at number four, probably the most lit song on the album, and like the most hype song in my opinion is Silly Watch. Oh, I came in with a new 40 clock. Fuck on your bitch, make that whole one a milli run. I'm with my boys and no, we do not milli run. Funny money, no, this is not no silly quad. Got a richer milli, this not a silly This one's got like this loud, like piano beat that just comes in strong. Bro, it starts getting really, really catchy once a song picks up. And that's why I got Silly Watch at number four. Uh, you know, I had to listen to it a few times and then it really caught on. And I was actually surprised that I uh, put it in my list. Number three, I got uh, Veneta. Uh, just lit song, bro. All of these turn up, all of these uh, have amazing lyrics and are super catchy. And I think this is what we've been waiting for for Uzi. And this is a great example. This is also another song that took me a couple days. This wasn't uh, one that I expected to be on my list, but I put it all the way up to number three because this one's been sounding really good to me recently. I think this one has like one of the best beats on the album as most of them are really, really good. Um, but this one, this one hits different, bro. I don't know why the beat is so fire. All right, number two, I, this one's one of the more popular ones. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be XO Tour Life uh, Part Two, but it's just named P2. And uh, you know, basically uh, they, they twist the song around so it does sound like EXO Tour Life where uh, the beat and you know the cadence is pretty similar and then the li lyrics are twisted up a bit. Um, you know, same concept as the part one. Um, but yeah, this one just sounds really good, man. And it's the ending to the album so it winds down a little bit at the end. Bro, perfect song. I didn't know that this would be like a real thing. I thought it was like a joke that there'd be XO Tour Life Part 2. But this is basically it. Last but not least, and I know this has been a short video, um, on Eternal Take, I think the number one song so far is Baby Blue. Yeah, we about to fall door. Had to get ready for war. Yeah, we about to fall door. Had to get ready for war. I got static in my city. Who fucking with me? Pull up with this 30 in his chop. This song um, has been performing the best. I'm pretty sure what Uzi said was probably the best song himself. I think it is very fire. And it comes in and it, it feels like I entered a utopia when I started listening to this song. And you know, it says, Welcome to Eternal Take. And just a fun listen, bro. This whole album is, is so good. And, you know, Uzi's not done, bro. 2020 coming in hard. So I wouldn't be surprised if I have another top five uh, for his album. And if this deluxe does come out um, and he says it had eight songs, then I'll pick five. New video tomorrow, boys. Make sure to follow my Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Cole Frosty, and then all my other socials. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.